Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be talking about polygons in the coordinate plane. All right, and what I want you to know by the end of this video is how you could graph a polygon in the coordinate plane given the coordinates of their vertices and find missing parts of a polygon while given information about that polygon. Okay, and I'm going to give you an example of both of those situations. So let's look at our first example. I have this coordinate plane. And I want to draw a polygon given these set of points right here. So the first set of points is 5 and 1.5. So what you would have to do is, first, first of all, you start at the origin. Now the origin is the point where the two axes meet, the x-axis and the y-axis. They meet at the origin. I hope you remember that from our graphing uh, chapter. Now, the first number in the ordered pair is your x-axis coordinate. That tells you how far to go left or how far to go right. So for 5, we go to the right 5 places. And then we go up 1.5 places. And that's where your point goes. And then we do the same thing for the other 4 points. We just repeat the steps. So for 0 and 2.5, since 0 is your x-coordinate, it doesn't go anywhere. It just stays right there on the, at the origin. And then we go up 2.5 for the y coordinate. The next coordinate is negative 1.5 and negative 6. So because that's negative, we go to the left. Because, and that's for the x coordinate. On the y coordinate, it's also negative. So that means we go down. So negative 1.5 and negative 6 goes there. Now, we have 4 and negative 3. So x coordinate is 4, it's positive, we go to the right 4 places. The y coordinate is negative 3, we go down 3 places, and that's where that point goes. And then finally, the last one we have is negative 4.5 and 1.5. So because the x coordinate is negative, we go to the left 4.5 places. The y coordinate is positive, so we go up 1.5 places. All right? And that are, is all the points for this polygon graphed. Now we want to go ahead and create our polygon. So we start connecting the points. We start with our first point and we draw a line to the second point. Then we go from there to the third point. We go from there down to the fourth point. We go from there over to the fifth point and then we connect back up to the last point. That's our polygon. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay? So the next example, you have um, Conrad, and he's drawn a triangle on a coordinate plane. Now, he has one point that's located, one point of the triangle. Remember, triangle is a three-sided figure. Hope we remember that. One point is located at negative 1, negative 2. So his first point, we go to the left one place, and we go down two places, and that's where the first point goes. The next thing we know about this triangle is that it has a point on, at 7 on the x-axis and that its y-coordinate is positive. So it's got to be up in quadrant 1 somewhere. Now placing that particular point is a little tricky because the next part of it tells us that the triangle has an area of 20 square units. So this is my thought process on this. In order to have a triangle with an area of 20 square units, then there's the numbers that I'm going to multiply together are um, kind of limited, right? Because I have to multiply two numbers together and to get half of a number that equals 20, that means my, my total has to be 40. Okay, so um, if I'm starting at negative 1, negative 2, and if I go to the right to 7, that means I'm going to cover 8 places. So what numbers can I think of that multiply together that includes 8 that gives me 40? Well, that number is 5. So that means if my base is 8 and I can go up 5 places, that means my height is going to be 5. All right. So if I'm at negative 2 right here on this line, then if I go up 5 places, that puts me at positive 3. So that meets the second criteria where it's at 7 and it's in the, the second, the y coordinate is in the, uh, is positive. 3 is positive. So if I put that point there, 
then I can go ahead and put the point at uh, 7, negative 2, which is on the same line as my first point, and then I can just connect the lines and make a triangle. Now, to figure out the area of that triangle, I take the formula, area equals, and you can say base times height divided by 2, all right? Area equals my base, which we've already said. Let me erase that a little bit. Oop, that doesn't look good. Which my base is 8, because if I count from negative 1, I'm sorry, from negative, yeah, from negative 1 all the way over to 7, that's 8 places that I went. And then my height, I've already counted, is 5. And I'm going to divide both those by 2. So area equals 8 times 5 is 40, divided by 2, and my area equals 20 square units. Okay, so that's just using what I know about triangles and how to find the area of a triangle to come up with a shape. Now that's not the only one that you could do. You may have thought of something else in your head as I was going through the problem, in which case you're probably right. So don't think that what I did here is the only possibility that could be. All right. So